Great day everyone, this is Jason Santos and for today we will continue the discussion of business analytics and we are already on chapter 6, Monte Carlo simulation in Google Sheets. So let's get started. This was based from uh, the book of um, Char uh, James Evans, chapter 6, Monte Carlo simulation in risk analysis. Methods, models, and decisions. So to start off, let's first uh, try to understand where did the term come from, because uh, I'm sure most of you will find the term um, very interesting and catchy. Well, uh, the Monte Carlo came from an actual place, which is a uh, Monte Carlo Casino, officially named Casino de Monte Carlo. Uh, it is a gambling and entertainment complex located in Monaco. Um, it includes a casino, the Opera, and Monte Carlo and offices of Le Ballet de Monte Carlo. The Monte Carlo is owned and operated by the Society de Brains de Mer de Monaco. Uh, forgive me for the pronunciation. But um, to put it simply, uh, the term came from an actual place. Uh, which is a gambling and a casino district in Monaco. Uh, Monte Carlo simulations are named after the popular gambling destination since uh, chance and random outcomes are central to the modeling techniques, much as they are to games like roulette, dice, and slot machines. The technique was first developed by Stanislaw Ulam, a mathematician who worked on the Manhattan Project after the war while recovering from brain surgery. So Ulam entertained himself by playing countless games of solitaire. He became interested in plotting the outcome of each of these games in order to observe their distribution and determine the probability of winning. After he shared his idea with John von Neumann, the two collaborated to develop the Monte Carlo simulation. So that's where uh, these all came from. So, for the definition, Monte Carlo simulations are used to model the prob probability of different outcomes in a process, and that cannot easily be predicted due to the intervention of random variables. So, the random variables, it occurs anywhere, uh, in business, in gaming, in any types of uh, situations where mathematical compositions are done. Uh, it is a technique used to understand the impact of risk and uncertainty in prediction and forecasting models. So, when you are creating a forecasting uh, table, of course, you would have to factor in random variables okay, in your prediction. Now, Monte Carlo simulation can be used to tackle a range of problems in virtually every field such as finance, engineering, supply chain, and uh, science. It is also referred to as multiple probability simulation. So when faced with significantly uh, uncertain uh, uncertainty in the process of making a forecast, rather than just replacing the uncertain variables with a single average number, the Monte, uh, Monte Carlo simulation can be the best solution using multiple values. Um, it's also applied in business and finance since uh, those are plagued by random variables. And um, in real life situation, telecommunications uses the Monte Carlo simulations to assess network performance and other different scenarios to help them optimize the network. And analysts use them to assess the risk that an entity will default and to analyze derivative such as options. This is for um, finance okay, options. And then for insurance, oil, well drillers, uh, Monte Carlo simulations are also used. Okay, countless applications outside of business and finance, such as meteorology, astronomy, and physics. So there. So to uh, summarize, the Monte Carlo uh, simulation is a model used to predict the probability of different outcomes. Uh, the simulation helps to explain the impact of risk and uncertainty in prediction and forecasting models. And in a variety of fields, utilize Monte Carlo simulations, including finance, engineering, supply chains, uh, science, and many more. 
Uh, the basis of a Monte Carlo simulation involves assigning multiple values to an uncertain variable to achieve multiple results and then to average the results to obtain an estimate. Then Monte Carlo simulations assume a uh, perfect efficiency markets. So for our activity, we will be building uh, an example of a Monte Carlo simulation table. This is just going to be a simple one using Google Sheet since this is the most accessible um, tool for everyone right now. And then our uh, conditions will be to find the chances of getting a gold minion. Yes, we will be doing a sample um, Monte Carlo simulation for a happy bean. And then um, it has to be in uh, 10 drive through trips of three orders each. And then let's compute for the chance percentage. All right, so here I have an example of a simulation table uh, which I have built. Um, again, for our activity, you would have to build your own uh, sim uh, simulation table just like this one, okay? So this is just simple. Again, um, we are trying to determine um, probabilities, again, using the Monte, uh, Monte Carlo uh, simulation table. So. Um, the ex the scenario that we have used here is um when you are trying to purchase um a happy meal toy. Okay, uh, this is a very good example because uh, we have already used the gambling example last time. So today we we use this since uh these are just very related topics. Okay, for what the card. So um you have fifteen uh total of uh, toys that you can get and then of course any um collector or child would want to get the golden minion because uh, this is uh paid to be the rare um variant among 15 okay so out of 15 you would have a chance of getting a golden minion so um this promo ran from december 18 to january 9 2021 so a total of two months Roughly, so roughly a month actually, roughly one month, and then um, just by e buying the Happy Meal, you would be able to get a random toy. Okay. So now, our scenario is that we are trying to get the Golden Minion in 10 trips, okay, 10 trips uh, of 3 purchases each, okay? So, what I did is we have built this sample uh, probability Monte Carlo simulator. So the first column would be for the random order. So random order meaning um, how many um, orders the family would make. So in a, sta a normal family, you would probably have around three kids, four kids, or five. And then that would represent the total number of happy meals that would be purchased. That's why we have three numbers here. And then if you would notice, the number is, um, the results are due to the formula ran between, which uh, I have already taught you last time. Okay. So ran between, so how do you write ran between? It's just uh, equal sign ran between random integer between two values, open parenthesis, the first variable would be the lowest, which is 1, and then the highest, which is uh, 40. And then close. Okay? So, when I did that, it gave me 7. Okay, so that's how you write the formula again. Ano? Um, so, anytime I make changes in the sheet, you would uh, see that the numbers here are changing. So, if I put anything here, it randomly changes. Okay? So, that's how you get the um, randomness okay, of the toys that you will be getting. Now, uh, these numbers represent the variant. Okay? Um, the, all the uh, 15, actually, toys have numbers in it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then, they will just pick it because they can't see what the, con 
the contents are it's placed in a um, um a capsule that covers the content right so they're just um assigned with numbers so uh let's say that in a group of 14 you have a chance of getting one golden minion which is number nine okay however again our orders are just three three pieces so in three pieces we can get any um toy between one to fourteen so that is going to be the result and then on the third column we have the quantity okay meaning how many of each variant did um we get so for example number three let's say this is number three uh this uh minion with uh the the um the blonde hair okay so we got two of that and then let's say this is number 13 the vampire minion. so we had one of that so already in one purchase we had a duplicate in one and we did not get the golden minion which is nine okay so having all of these said let's go now to the computation so we have this gold minion that's the question how many will be how many chances are we going to get um the golden minion in 10 purchases okay so here's just a simple yes or no answer and then corresponding that will this is where we will put the um answers okay now for the total this is just sum sum of the yes and no's and then percentage is just computed with this okay yes divided by the total of 10 times 100% okay Oops, sorry 100% that's how you would get the percentage okay so now let's uh try to determine or simulate what is the chance uh, of me getting a minion if we uh, visit McDonald's 10 times and then in each visit we purchase three happy meals. Okay, so again, I'll just put any numbers here and um, it will give us a random number. Okay, so let's start. So let me put zero first because uh, we don't know yet what how many times we will get a yes or a. So zero. So it changed. So what did we get? 3, 4, and 11. So practically no minion. So 1. Okay. We got 5, 12, and 13. So again, we didn't get the golden minion. So 2 already. Okay. So for this chance, we had the golden minion. So 1. 149145 and then 140. So we are now going to put one on yes. Fourth attempt. We got the golden minion again. So that's 9, 12, and 14. So we are going to put two here. Fifth attempt. 8, 14, and 1. So we're going to put three here. Sixth attempt, we got the golden minion again. So, 1, 9, and 13. So, 3. Okay. Seventh attempt, we got 7, 11, and 12. So, this is the fourth time we did not get the golden minion. Eighth attempt, we got 10, 2, and 13. So, we did not get the golden minion again. So, five now okay third uh ninth attempt two five and seven so we did not get it so six and then the last attempt we had two eights and one two so still we did not get the golden minion so three out of ten okay so three out of ten purchases uh we had the golden minion right so that tantamounts to 30 percent okay this is your uh chance of getting the minion if you will purchase 10 times uh in mcdonald's with three uh, happy meals. all right so now uh for your assignment what you would have to do is create 
a table just like this, you can follow this, create the random order, the toy variant, the quantity, and then the computation here, which will give you the simulator for Monte Carlo. So that's it. Thank you so much, and see you on the next video.